Hi students, Mrs. Perry here. For photography this week, we are going to go on a macro adventure. So for my adventure, I am going to go through my garden and I've got some chickens hanging out with me. So um, for your adventure, you may want to go through your room or go on an, advent an adventure in your house or something. You could go outside. Basically, we're just going to be taking some interesting pictures while only using macro settings or a small depth of field. So here's how you can do that with your camera. So for this you're going to need to get up close and personal to some kind of objects. Whether it's a cool leaf in your garden or whether it's getting up close to one of your pets. You're going to need to get creative with this assignment and try and find some interesting shots of things or maybe ordinary things. So when you're using an SLR or a point and shoot, you'll want to probably work with a small depth of field. So that means you'll have a small f-stop number. So here's how you can do that. So I've got my camera right here. If you're shooting in manual mode, you'll want to make sure that your f-stop number is really small. So to get that to be small, you will probably want to change things in different directions. So you'll want to make sure it's as small as it can go. You may also have to change up the ISO to some different numbers or you could leave the ISO on auto and you might also have to change the shutter speed. So that's manual mode. Another mode you could use is the close-up macro mode. So I recommend you use those modes for this project. The reason why we're going to be shooting in macro mode or with a small depth of field is to get us to get ourselves or our viewers to notice things such as the tiny little fuzzy hairs on a tomato or perhaps the fascinating ridges within a leaf or the intricate details in a piece of wood. You may have to look up for this project and use a worm's eye view or you may have to look down for this project and use a bird's eye view. You may even have to switch up what you start taking pictures of. So we're gonna we're trying for a blurry background and some really sharp detail in the objects we're creating. And remember, you're gonna want to shoot in macro mode or with a small depth of field, which means you'll be shooting with a small f-stop number.